Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello and welcome to lecture 46. So in last lecture we were discussing about Akari targets, then we were discussing about vital project by European Union. We started discussing about the control rotating turbo fan configuration which was a part of vital project. Then we also started discussing about the control rotating prop fan, unducted fan, open rotor propulsion system and most recent development by GE and Saffron that is what is for revolutionary innovation for sustainable engine that is called RISE program. Let us recall what all we are discussing is to meet the requirement that is what has been specified by Akare. So, here if you look at it says we need to have engine level targets that to reduce the noise by 18 decibel. It says we need to reduce the NOx emission by 60 percent. We need to reduce the fuel consumption as well as CO2 emission by 20 percent. So, overall target if we look at these targets are mainly in terms of fuel economy, emission and noise. And emission if we say there are two targets, one it is for CO2 and second it is for say NOx emission. So, let us discuss about what all are the other developments. So, here if we look at we are having say the project that is what has been launched by Rolls Royce. Here in this case they have taken their reference engine as say 10700. One project that is what is called advanced project and second that is called ultra fan projects. So, they have taken their reference as 10700 which is having bypass ratio of 10 and overall pressure ratio of 50 is to 1. So, if we look at these numbers that is what is reasonable number for say current running engines. But in their advanced project they have raised the bypass ratio to 11 plus say overall pressure ratio that is what is raised to 60 plus and the target is to improve the fuel economy by 20 percent compared to that trend 700. At the same way there is a other project as we discussed it is ultra fan which is having bypass ratio in the range of 15 plus overall pressure ratio of 70 plus and the expected fuel economy that need to be 20 percent higher compared to trend 700 engine. So, the whole logic here it is to reduce the fuel, fuel consumption and to reduce the emission of the cycle. So, in other sense we can say if you are targeting our thermal efficiency that this can be improved and this thermal efficiency as we have discussed in our earlier class that is what is a function of overall pressure ratio and turbine entry temperature or turbine inlet temperature. So, that is the reason why here the target it is been focused mainly on how higher overall pressure ratio higher combustor exit temperature. And if we are incorporating that, that is what is required a special kind of cooling system as we discussed earlier. So, just look at what is the meaning of this advanced engine here. So, there are two projects they were running in parallel, one it is advanced 3, it is for 3 spool configuration and second that is what is advanced 2, it is for 2 spool configuration that is what is for pearl kind of engine which was a special requirement. So, here in this case for both the cases it says it is in terms of advance, advance in sense of both excess of bypass ratio as well as overall pressure ratio and that is what will lead to improve the fuel economy by 20 percent compared to trend 700. So, let us look at what is the change or what all are the details which are being incorporated in this advance engines. This is a proprietary kind of nature. 
So that's the reason what all is available in open literature. So these informations are collected from that. So let's try to understand how exactly they have incorporated these changes. Here it says advanced high pressure cycle, dynamic ceiling that's what is required because my pressure ratio requirement is higher. If we look at on the front blades, these are carbon titanium blades and that's what is with the composite material. Later on in order to take care of say emission, low NOx combustor they are being designed for, advanced turbine cooling material which are being used, lightweight efficient turbine that they are being incorporated here and adaptive cooling system, it's a specialized kind of cooling system which is being incorporated in this engine. And this bearings because it is handling higher temperature, it is handling higher pressure ratio as we discussed. That's what is required special kind of bearing. So they have incorporated hybrid ceramic bearing, high torque density soft and this all that will lead to give the benefits. If you look at here this yellow color, that's what is representing benefits in terms of say fuel economy and green color one that's what is focusing on environmental part and black that's what is representing the maintenance case. So here in overall if we look at basically what they have done, they try to focus more on core engine configuration rather focusing on say fan, fan also yes they have, they have raised their bypass ratio and that means the diameter of the fan it has been raised but at the same time major focus that's what is on the core engine. So let's see like this is also one other project that's what has been running at NASA in cooperation with GE and other companies. So here also if we try to look at the major focus it is on core engine. Now just try to look at the engine people they are trying to reduce the size of the core engine. They are looking for this core engine to be more compact and efficient. At the same time they are focusing on thermal efficiency because my core engine that's what is contributing measure in terms of thermal efficiency. So here in this case higher efficiency that's what is a major target and that's what will be providing it should provide the economy in terms of same thrust capacity. And in order to achieve that, if we look at here, since my core size, that's what is going to reduce. And that's the reason why my blade height for both compressor as well as turbine, that's what is going low. So you can say we are having shorter blades. When we have these shorter blades, that's what is rotating at high speed. That's what is demanding for special kind of design. So just realize, by launching such projects, they are basically exploring the possibility for doing more and more research and development activities for the innovative designs. And that's what is giving, you know, more opportunities in terms of job, in terms of understanding, in terms of moving forward for the next generation kind of engines. So let's look at what all they are looking for in this high tech project. So major focus it is on high pressure compressor, say per stage pressurized expectation that's what is higher, that's what is demanding for say casing treatments. So those who are not from the background of aerospace engineering, maybe they can go through, they can search on net, they can google for specific terminologies. When we are say casing treatment that's what is a specialized kind of treatment it has been provided to the casing that's giving the operation range to be extended efficiency also to be improved. At the same time as we discuss we are looking for the temperature to be as high as possible where it is demanding for ceramic matrix composite liners and that's what will be increasing the performance as well as durability. Say high temperature material for the turbine because my turbine entry temperature also will be higher. That's what is demanding new technology in terms of development of ceramic matrix composites. At the same time, say thermal barrier coatings, they also come into the picture. And the later part is in terms of advanced, say high pressure compressor aerodynamics because we can understand as we are having our operating temperature to be higher 
and if you are looking for their efficient operation we need to go for say advanced cooling mechanism as well as it need to have specialized aerodynamic features similarly the power extraction capacity for both hp turbine as well as lp turbine need to be higher here this project has some other target also they are looking for applying this or moving towards a hybrid kind of configuration we will see what exactly is a meaning of hybrid kind of configuration in this lecture only so we can say we are having one project that's what has been launched by rolls in terms of advanced engine second that's what is on high tech engine so if we recall when we started discussing about this recent developments in this aero engines there we have discussed three aspects very first aspect that's what is related to propulsive efficiency which we have discussed in last lecture today's target that's what is mainly on say thermal efficiency as well as in terms of emission also so here this is a new development that term as a ultra fan project that's what is ongoing project by rolls royce and it is revealed in the concept form during say 2012 under the project name say environmental responsible aviation and that's what is been sponsored by lockheed martin and nasa so this is supposed to be in operation by 2025 so this engine is under testing and we can say this gives say 25% improvement compared to trend 700 here the bypass ratio is in the range of 15 is to 1 and pressure ratio if you look at it is 70 is to 1 that's what is on very high side okay so here if we look at this configuration is a three spool configuration where we are having gear turbofan so this geared is of a different category if you look at here and that's what will be run by or rotated by lp turbine so lp turbine that's what will be rotating this fan we will be having say ip turbine that's what will be used for say rotation of ip compressor and hp turbine that's what is for rotating say hp compressor this bypass ratio when we say is higher just understand the terminology what we mean by bypass ratio so here rather increasing the diameter to be very high the care it is been taken both in terms of diameter of the fan as well as the diameter of the core so that's how the bypass ratio it is been managed with so if you compare this engines with the earlier engines or what all cut sections we have seen it seems totally different just look at the core engine that's what will be giving you the clarity what we mean to discuss here so this engine it is having say additional kind of features in sense since it is high bypass ratio or ultra fan that's the reason why it need to be integrated with the aircraft in a specific way where the requirement it is a slim line nacelle kind of configuration these blades are also made up of carbon titanium fan blades similarly if we look at here this fan blades they are having a special kind of feature it is variable pitch means under operation during operation as we have discussed for open rotor configuration this blades can be tilted as per the requirement so it's a technological challenge but yes rolls royce they are putting their efforts to prove this technology at the same time the exit nozzle is also of variable area so what all we have understood say for low bypass ratio engine military engine till now we were having variable area here in this case it's having say variable area nozzle at the exit same way here in this case we are having say turbine blades which are of say slightly high aspect ratio at the same time they are having say specialized cooling mechanism say next generation alloy they are been used in order to make the soft at the same time these blades are blix type where you know it is made up say rather making disc as a different and putting the blade on that this is single piece that's the reason why it is called blisk okay at the same time here we are having say powered gearbox advanced hybrid ceramic bearings 
So what all developments that's what is going on in terms of advanced project this similar technology that's what is being adopted here for ultra fan configuration. And here if we look at carefully say this yellow color one that's what is representing that it has impact on fuel economy. Green color one that's what is representing in terms of environmental impact and we are having say maintenance aspect that's what has been represented in black color. So this ultra fan that has a more promising people they are eagerly waiting for this engine to come. Let's try to understand what all are the benefits of this ultra fan engine. So here if we look at let's try to put in terms of advantages what we have realized what it says the improvement in fuel efficiency because we are having gear turbo fan configuration that's the reason why we have control in optimal speed so we can control the speed of routers independently that's what will lead to improve the overall efficiency and fuel consumption we have discussed this earlier also in gear turbo fan configuration this design is large weight design because it's having advanced and optimized design configuration that's what is been using say lightweight structure that will be improving the aircraft performance payload capacity as well as overall efficiency since it is having say increased fuel economy that's the reason why co2 emission will be lower and that's what will be reducing the carbon footprint that's what is a requirement for the future engines similarly since gear turbo fan engine we have incorporated that's the reason fan will be rotating at the lower speed that's what will lead to reduce the noise so we can say what all are the requirement for the future engines that's what is been meeting by using this ultra fan kind of configuration at the same time since the fuel economy is higher that's what will be permitting this engine to be used for say long distance travel this can be used for say various kind of aircrafts it's not only for say narrow body or say not only for wide body it can be incorporated as per the requirement so you know it's kind of tailored engine configuration at the same time since my fuel consumption is lower maintenance is lower and you know engine performance can be improved or it is improved at lowering the operating cost of this engine and that's the reason why most of the airline companies they are waiting for this engine to be successfully tested certified and that can be used for the future aircraft but at the same time we have certain challenges for this ultra fan configuration these challenges are in terms of technological complexity so you can say we have used say geared configuration at the same time different materials which we say in terms of carbon titanium alloys we have used ceramic say for say making of say hot components that's what will be increasing the cost of manufacturing design and control system that's what is required very expensive research and development activity here in this case since this design is lightweight but at the same time the integrity of this is also very challenging when we say lightweight at the same time we are also looking for the durability and the performance of these components that means that need to be tested nicely same way for the gearbox we know it's a mechanical device the reliability durability and the safety aspects under all kind of operating condition that is also a question mark and it's a challenging part that need to be proved if we look at for the nestle since we want to incorporate say larger size fan and that need to be optimized for the airflow control so the placement of this engine that is little challenging in terms of incorporation so lot of research that's what has been going on by different universities in order to design this nacelle and how to incorporate this ultra fan on different say aircraft configuration similarly since this is talking about the new technology that means we need to go for rigorous certification and compliance as per the international requirement and that's what need to meet the stringent requirements 
that's what is being imposed by different agencies at the same time this development of this is a time consuming it, it is expensive affair because it required lot of research design testing validation and to be used for say commercial purpose at the same time there are already existing engine and this engine market it's always challenging and very competitive where if you want to be in competition then you need to show your concern in terms of technological aspect as well as cost effectiveness and reliability is of prior then as we have discussed it's a highly competitive market that means for before incorporating that for the airline or the aircraft manufacturing company you need to prove the competence of this technology for the future requirement this engines have different kind of technology that's what is required a reliable supply chain so manufacturing process say critical component supply this all need to be taken care of suppose if you are thinking of incorporating this engine with the existing aircraft under that condition also we need to have the care for say existing engine size and configuration and how do we fitting this engine on particular aircraft so these are the challenges for say ultra fan configuration and we have great hope let's see for the future aircraft this engine will be showing the new way for the development and that's what will lead the next market let's look at this in terms of next expectation and the requirement so here let's try to understand say this is our aircraft and somewhere here we have fitted with the engine so here this is representing some aerodynamic aspects it says for the aircraft there will be growth of boundary layer here and that's what will be moving towards the end side or the rear side under that condition we will be having some deficit in terms of momentum so we can say this engine need to develop the thrust in order to propel this aircraft at the same time it also has to take care of this momentum deficit means my thrust requirement for this engine the, uh, for this aircraft it will be higher so what we mean in terms of viscous or form drag that's what will be coming into the picture so there is different thought process which is been going on for say researchers what they are focusing on is here you can look at this is representing the momentum deficit that's what need to be taken care by the thrust generated by this engine one other aspect that's what is been explored by the researcher is to put this engine on fuselage like this so under that configuration this will be taken care also weight deficit that will be taken care by the engine but the thrust required or thrust generated by this engine that's what will be lower so new thought process that's what is going on in which we will be having the combination of engine as well as this fuselage mounted fan so fuselage mounted fan that's what will be taken care of by say this weight deficit at the same time engine is generating the thrust as per the requirement and this concept that's what is called propulsive fuselage concept so here if you look at the ongoing research activity is in terms of using this propulsive fuselage concept where it says by incorporating this kind of concept the thrust requirement by the engine that's what will be taken care of and it will be improving the aerodynamic aspects of this aircraft and that will be increasing the propulsive efficiency so in order to take care of that some research it says they have incorporated the gas turbine engine so this gas turbine engine that's what is used to rotate the fan and this fan that's what will be sucking the air that's coming from this wall and that's what is taking care of what we discuss in terms of momentum deficit one more concept it it is in terms of using say hybrid electric concept where say we are having permanent magnet motor and levitate concept where this 
fan will be rotating continuously and it will take care of what we all we have discussed in terms of say fuselage based propulsive system. So there is a research going on by Bauhaus Luftfahrts and they are focusing more research activities in this kind of engine configuration. So let us move towards say the next requirement here as we have discussed the thought process that is what is changing. So here if we look at we want to incorporate the few, say propulsive fuselage kind of configuration in order to rotate the fan on the rear side we are looking for electric power or maybe we need to incorporate the engine. If we are incorporating the engine that is what is a separate kind of requirement it is more challenging. So the current research is going on in order to develop the electric power using the engine conventional engine by using say GTF power plant they say gear turbofan power plant and this power that is what will be supplied in order to rotate this fuselage propulsor. So you can say now we are moving more towards a turbo electric kind of configuration. So this is a proposed work by Rolls Royce where they are working currently on the development of new kind of configuration where they have used say fuel as a heat sink at the same time if we look at carefully on the rear side we are having electric motor or the generator that is what will be routed by the LP turbine and it will be generating power this power that is what will be used for say our propulsive fuselage kind of concept. So you can say now we are moving more towards the hybrid kind of configuration not exactly completely electric we are towards a hybrid kind of configuration. So research it is also been going on by GE in order to develop this kind of configuration with interest of time and you know limited hours for this lecture we will not be discussing all the aspects but here what all we are discussing that is what is more than sufficient for you people to understand what all will be coming for the next generation. Let us look at about what people they are talking about the electric propulsion system. So here in this case if we look at say in order to have your aircraft to fly the requirement is thrust and that thrust can be generated only by the fan or rotating device. So here in this case if we look at it says all electric kind of configuration means we will be having one, two or maybe a number of fans that is what will be routed by the electric motors and those electric motors they are been running by say battery. Now if we look at this power density of this battery compared to our propulsive device what we say in terms of gas turbine engine it is not comparable and that is where this all electric configuration it is very challenging. If you are talking about the small configuration what we say it in, in the form of say flying taxi or maybe flying ambulance for that kind of configuration this is okay with but it cannot be incorporated for the large aircraft or what we can say medium range aircraft. Here some of the exploration it says hybrid say series hybrid where we are having say turbo soft engine this turbo soft engine we can say it is a gas turbine engine that will be used to generate say it will be used to rotate the generator because soft power we will be rotating our generator and that is what will be supplying the power to these motors in order to rotate this say distributed fans in parallel or in series with the battery. Here if we look at we are having parallel kind of configuration where battery that is what is used to rotate the motor at the same time fuel supply that is what is used to rotate the turbo fan. There are configuration in which we will be having both series as well as parallel and partial hybrid kind of configuration. Here if we look at this is representing turbo electric configuration where we will be having say our engine or turbo shaft engine that is what will be generating the power which will be used to rotate the generator and this generator that will be rotating the motors for say distributed fans. 
at the same time there are some configuration where people they are exploring say partial turbo electric engine so if we look at carefully this it says it has a great potential towards moving the electric propulsion system but only electric propulsion that will not help so electric propulsion in commercial aircraft may be able to reduce the carbon emission what we are discussing at this moment we are not discussing how we are charging our battery just be careful when we are talking about the charging of the battery it required the power and that power may be by some power plants and when we say power plants it may be say steam based power plant or maybe gas turbine power plant okay someone may be having say discussion argument in terms of solar that is a different ball game but you know carbon emissions that's what cannot be neglected in this aspect the thing is what all new technology we are discussing that need to attain the specific power weight and reliability for the successful commercial fleet you can understand we are discussing currently the technology which is 100 years almost 100 years old and it is already been proven with in terms of gas turbine engines and we want to replace this gas turbine technology with electric that's what is most challenging and you know it's a more more of efforts need to be put in this direction so as we have discussed in in this class we say we have a kind of configuration or engines which are under development where we will be having lp turbine that's what will be rotating the generator or the motor and that will be used in order to propel the aircraft okay so here we will be stopping with the discussion in terms of development of this engines specifically for the commercial aircrafts so in next lecture we will try to explore the possibility for the military engines and we will discuss what all are the developments for the military engine and you must be doing when we are discussing about the military engines they are having so many restrictions and let's try to understand how people they are thinking in terms of development of future military engines also so thank you thank you very much i have cited the papers as a cross reference if you are interested you can download the paper you can read the paper and move ahead in terms of enhancing your knowledge thank you